Hello everyone. My name is Sushil Mehta. I'm going to show you how to download EVNG and install EVNG on top of your VMware. So First of all, you need to download EVNG from the official site of EVNG. So we'll get into EVNG.net. Click on download. And you can see we have EVNG Professional, EVNG Community Edition. So if you want to install free edition and you want to work with the free edition, you need to go with uh, this EVNG free edition. I would suggest you guys to go with uh, uh, ISO image. So to download the ISO image, please click on this ISO Google mirror. Click on download anyway. So you can see the file is of 838 MB. So definitely based on your internet speed, it will take some time. So till this gets downloaded, I'll be pausing my video. I'll be back once it gets downloaded. Now you can see ISO image has been downloaded over here. So now we'll open VMware workstation and we'll click on create a new virtual machine and go with the custom option click on next next go with install operating system later click on next select uh, linux and ubuntu with the 64 bit because ev runs with the kernel operating system of ubuntu uh, i mean like linux with the linux uh, ubuntu operating system so click on next and you can write your name here as a EVNG, anything, whatever you want. And this is the location where your EVNG machine will be saved. If you want to save it somewhere, uh, somewhere else, you can change the location or else it will by default get saved inside the document itself. So it will be in your C drive. But if you want to save it into D drive or where else you can. So you can open you can create your folder in the D drive. Inside that you make sure that you have the any other folders. Like for example, uh, you create a virtual machine folder. Inside that you create a EVNG folder and select this EVNG folder like this and then install it. In my case, I'm going to install it in my C drive itself under the document. So by default, whatever the location is taken uh, that I'm going to continue with. In your case, if you want to change, do it as soon as the uh, as I had shown in the process. Okay, let's click on next. Uh, try to give the maximum uh, processor that will be supported by your PC. Let's say if it is core, uh, if it is i7, then it might be like eight cores, number of processors supported like eight processors. And uh, try to give the number of cores it will be supported or one is also enough. Say next. <clears throat> now, depending on your pc ram you need to allocate the maximum ram that you can give it to evng let's say in my case my pc is having 64 gb ram then just thinking about like some space would be given for the operating system some space would be given for uh, the other applications to run so out of 64 gb i would recommend you guys to go uh, with uh, 50 GB or 55 GB like that you guys can give. But let's say if you have a 16 GB RAM in your PC, then I will recommend you to keep uh, free space for like, I mean like use around 13 GB, leave another three GB for your operating system or something like that, right? So depends what's your uh, RAM in your PC, depending on that. At least leave three, four GB for your OS to run on your laptop or the desktop whatever you have and accordingly you can allocate the ram so this is the place where you need to allocate the ram for the first time okay later on if you upgrade it or if you change the ram size that will create an issue okay so fix your ram uh, at the beginning of the installation itself say next if you want to communicate with your pc then select the bridge mode say next 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 
next and give the maximum hard drive you want to give depends on your task or the work what you are doing now if you guys are related to networking if you are doing some networking stuffs so it's better try to give a maximum space as per your hard drive now this is not going to occupy the entire 40 gb space of your hard drive now this hard drive we are locating inside the evng later on inside the evng we can add the uh, materials or i mean like the images or the labs that will be creating for that this 40 i mean like 400 gb is allocated so later on if you want to modify again this uh, hard drive the existing hard drive capacity whatever whatever we are giving that will not be done okay uh, apart from this you can add the extra hard drive that is possible okay so as of now i'll say next continue and i would say next and before i finish uh, i'll see the hardware that i have allocated so i can see 12 gb ram processor and make sure on the processor this virtualization technology will must be enabled i mean like this should be enabled if this is not enabled the devices which you'll be running on EVNG might turn on and again it might go down. Okay, so make sure that this uh, virtualization technology is enabled and then go to CD DVD to select your ISO image file which you have recently downloaded. So this file you'll be uh, selecting here and make sure that connect at power and is checked in. If this is not checked in, your image will not be booted. So you won't be able to install it. So after adding all this stuff, click on close, say finish. <clears throat> now you're good to go for the installation process. Let's click on power on. So as we know, it's running on the top of Ubuntu. So you'll get the screen like this. Press enter. English is selected over here, you can see. The English language is selected in a gray color. Make sure it is selected in this way. Press enter. <clears throat> and press enter to install your EVNG. Okay. So simply press enter. After that, it will boot and show you the another step. Click on English, United States now it will detect your hardware whatever you have allocated inside the evng and the process will get started it will take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on your pc performance okay so let's see It will detect your hardware's network interfaces, everything, uh, and your IPv6 configuration. I'm mean, like attempting. Now, this is the name that will be configured. So, click, just press enter to continue. Just follow the steps. Just go positive and it will be installed. Click on yes. Multiple options you will get in between. So you have to be careful. It will take some time. This installation might take 10, 15 minutes. So I'll be pausing the video. I'll be back again. It will ask you to continue with the HTTP. So press enter to continue.
now it will keep continuing just wait for a few more minutes after that you'll get this option uh, i would like to go with the no updates okay and press enter and finally you will see the installation has been completed click enter i will like press enter to continue now after this your evng will get restarted and automatically it will boot you don't have to do anything just wait for a few minutes initially it will start it will start the services so it might take a few minutes initially It might take around uh, two minutes to get ready. And after a few minutes, your EVNG configuration will get ready automatically and you'll get the login prompt. So just wait for a few minutes. Now here you can see, as I have received the logging prompt of your EVNG, this is CLI. And by default, your username and the password for CLI. So CLI user name is root and password is ev and for the gui your username is admin and the password is ev so this is what you can configure so i log in with the username root password as a ev and you can see for the first time it might prompt you for a password so you might continue with the default password ev repeat it ev Press enter. Now here depends. <clears throat> you want to receive IP address from the DHCP, which is by default, or if you want to configure the IP address statically. If you want to configure it statically, just uh, drag it down and press space so that this uh, asterisk mark will be selected inside the static. This is most important part. Okay, so make sure this asterisk is selected inside the static, then only the static IP address will be configured, or else it will remain the HCP itself. So I'll continue with the static. <clears throat> Press OK. Now you have you have to configure the management interface IP. So I, in my case, I'll give 172.16.3. And I'll give some IP address like uh, 50 and press enter 255 subnet mask the best practice would be configure the ip address from your router subnet mask whatever you guys are using at your home connecting through the wi-fi adapter or wired connection if you use the same ip address i mean like if you use the ip address from the same subnet you don't have to configure anything else you'll get the direct connections or the connectivity through your base pc so press enter now give the gateway you can give the gateway as your router ip in my case it's 172.16.3.254 please do not skip these steps or else your ip address will not be configured now as a dns i can give anything global dns of 4.2.2.2 and the host ntp server ip address you can give it as your router ip so 172.16.3.254, press enter, press enter. So now your IP address is statically configured. So whenever your EVNG will get restarted, it won't change the IP address because by default, your EVNG is configured with the DHCP client. 
So we removed the DHCP client and configured the IP address statically. Now, once your EVNG gets ready, so we'll be accessing, I'll show you how to get the GUI access. Now, as you can see here, 172.16.3.50 is configured over here. So we'll just come to your uh, browser and configure 172.16.3.250, I mean like 3.50, press enter. And you can see you're able to log in with the username as a admin and password as the EV. So this is how you guys can make your EVNG ready. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.